Howdy, howdy folks, it's Diecast, both like you're good. And that's time for race 30 out of 36, the UAW GM Quality 5 over from Lowe's Motor Speedway in Charlotte. Oh boy. So, we have won four out of the last five races. And let me tell you guys, the championship is ours to lose. I think the tides have shifted. I think Sterling Marlin is now playing catch up. He's 87 points behind with five wins. But guys, we have 13 wins. Oh my goodness. We have gotten we have trimmed down our average finish from about a 10 to 9.5 to now to a 8.1. Sterling Marlin's average finish is to a 7.5. And if you remember, this average finish was lower than that earlier on. This just goes to show that Sterling Marlin is beginning to decline in terms of overall performance. Now he is definitely in prime position to win the championship, as everyone else has been mathematically elim or realistically el eliminated. So it's either going to be the 99 Sicko Roush Racing entry, or it's going to be the 40 Coors Light Ganassi Dodge that would take home the 2003 Winston Cup Championship. And uh, definitely, we have the, the statistics, but they have the consistency. Now the schedule, we're going to Charlotte this weekend. After that, it's back to Martinsville. After that, Atlanta Motor Speedway. And then back to Rockingham. And of course, we have the Texas Road Course right here. And then the actual Texas 500. So we got some pretty exciting stuff coming up on the schedule. And again, we have won four out of the last five races, guys. Look at this. One, two, three, skip, four. Four out of the last five races have went to... Uh, Jeff Burton. Uh, we're going to run the normal Sitco colors and let's go racing at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Alright guys, so we qualified on pole once again. Uh, another pole this season, historic season, I might add, and uh, let's go down trackside at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Joe Moore and Barney Hall coming to you live from the Mecca of Motorsports, Lowe's Motor Speedway, for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the UAW GM Quality 500. Barney, this is a hometown crowd for a lot of these drivers. This track was the first one to focus on spectator comfort, and it shows. This place always draws an enormous crowd. Most of the team shops are located in this area, which give it that hometown feel. We're in for some great racing here at Lowe's. Jeff Burton sure has been consistent on these speedways this year. Yeah, he really turns it up a notch when we come to this type of track. And these speedways can be very tricky to get the hang of. He seems to know them all like the back of his hand. Jimmy Spencer won two races in 1994, but wound up 29th in the standings. How does that happen? Well, he had 11 DNFs, that's how. Each time you fail to finish a race, it almost completely wipes out one of those good finishes. The points championship is all about consistency. Jeff Green joined Richard Childress Racing in 2001. It was the first year RCR had run three cars at one time in Winston Cup. And being a part of a very successful multi-car operation is important to Jeff. His first foray into Winston Cup was a little rough, but with Childress, he's got a good chance to run well week in and week out. Engines are fired. It's Jeff Burton and Jimmy Johnson on the front row here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And uh, uh, definitely a racetrack that I want to win at, guys. We have not won at Charlotte yet in this playthrough. We got to figure it out, man. There's just something about this racetrack that we cannot get our, our head wrapped around, so to speak. And I want to win here, man. I really do. Sterling Marlin might be 87 points away from the points lead, but he's not going away quietly. He's qualified in the top five today. We've got a rookie in the top five as well. Interesting. <clears throat> Here we go. Green flag at Charlotte. 33 laps around here, guys. It's going to be a long day. But this is, this is the stretch point of the season. This is where the championship really comes down to the wire. It's between me and Marlin for the championship, so we just gotta go out here and just 
really run good. Take care of our equipment. You know, heads up NASCAR. That's basically we got we got a race, so kind of feel out the racetrack and see where we're going. I mean, we can adjust the acceleration and you know top speed ratio with our air pressure. So, oh my goodness, car is very loose. Very loose race car. Trying to see where our limit is, where we can push this car. We need to stay in the draft. That's that's very important. We need to make sure we stay in the draft with these two cats. Stolen Marlin's about to lead a lap, so he's about to get five bonus points. So uh, definitely cannot make it stick in three and four. Car kind of washes up, plows. Uh, this is what happened last year in this race. That uh, I think it was Dell Jr. He just pulled away, and we were just we maintained second for the majority of the race. Just we don't have race winning speed. Just, we're like we're that top three type of car, but we're just not not there yet. I've tried so many different things at Charlotte, and I just I can't crack that egg. It's just the AI is just so good here. Uh, three and four, we're giving up too much time there. We're just not able to you know land the car and get back to the throttle. And here comes everyone else and their mother about to pass us. Uh, only lap four in this event, so not good at all. One thing we can do is just raise the acceleration up and hopefully we can drill the corners harder because I cannot make the car turn even more. I, I make the, made the car as loose as possible. And I legit mean loose as possible. The wedge, the sway bar, everything is to the max loose. Our art, we gotta make it really tight off turns four. Oh my goodness, that could have been very bad. Just gotta run our race. Again, we're chasing a championship right now, guys. If Marlon wants it that bad, he can go win this race. But it's up to us to maintain a points gap. We got Martinsville. We got Rockingham. You know, we got we got Atlanta. We got some tracks that could be big mistakes for us. But we got Homestead. We got the Texas Motor Speedway. We got the road course there. So we have some tracks we can win at. But we got some tracks we can lose it all at. So it's very vital that we get through this race with a top ten. Move on to next week at Martinsville, which we did win at last year and this year. And keep these guys behind us as long as we can. Not looking forward to gambling or anything like that. I think that would be really a, a big mistake to gamble, honestly. Uh, we've tried gambling last season. It just did not work. The Sicko car, or Sicko 4 Torch, excuse me, just does not have speed on two tires. It doesn't. Uh, except that the restricted plate tracks, it just doesn't have speed. Our corner entry, I feel like we can get a little bit more out of it, so I'm definitely going to raise up the acceleration. I took a little top speed out of the car, hoping that he would uh, help us in the corner uh, handle. It's just we don't have that speed, guys. Like, I don't, like, I honestly don't feel fast. Like, when I go to, uh, oh my god, big wobble there, contact with Bobby Labonte. But when we go to like to the brickyard or something or Texas, I feel fast. I feel like we have a car that's on edge, that's just really fast. Here, I just don't feel fast. I feel like I'm out of the gas a lot. There's Bobby Labonte around us. I can only block him for so long, and then we're gonna wash up. We got some damage on the right side. Ryan Newman's just trying everything he can to get around me. We're just gonna hug the inside here. I mean, just like even with the draft, we don't have that raw speed that we need to. I mean, look at Bobby Labonte's Pontiac. He's slowly pulling away, and we're right there. Full throttle. It's just, they have more speed than us. We can catch up to him right here, but I don't know how long he'll be there. All I can do is just hope for a good, good run and just sailing on in there. The car's just almost wrecking loose. No bite. Can't hold him down to the corner, have him to lift, slow down. And there's that exit right there. Just bites you, man. Just bites you. Here comes Martin and company. Oh, man. Yeah, this is this is Charlotte Motor Speedway, guys. Every time we come here, it's just not our racetrack. We, we're a top five car, but we're not, nothing more than that. Uh, let's get a top two update. And it's Sterling Marlin out front, so more likely than not, he'll probably get the most laps led today, which means an extra five bonus points. So we are going to lose our points gap a little bit. Uh, all we can do is minimize it. Man, this thing is just... It's turning like a dump truck, guys. It is turning like a dump truck. 
just don't have the speed. I don't have it. Like, I'm having... I had the car as loose as possible so it could turn the corner, but it's not like it's loose that it, it can't drive. Like, it's just I can't uh, maintain the throttle and still dig in the corner at the same time. It just does not have that speed. It does not have that speed. I mean, the only thing I can think of is if we try to drive it in even harder in the corner and just risk hitting the wall and tearing this thing up. That's the only thing I can think of. Look at that. We have to check up, and here comes Jeff Gordon. He's trying to get another win. Mark Martin on the outside. Oh, boy. Don't get split. Don't get split. There we go. Try to fucking side drive him as much as I can. Not going to be enough. Oh my goodness, contact. Here comes Gordon on the inside. And Newman's looking, but we're going to cut him off. And this is just... Oh goodness, Dell Jr. with a huge bobble back there. This is definitely a uh, bad, bad racetrack for us in terms of race trim. I mean, we qualify and trim where it lights out, but here it's just we don't have that long run speed that uh, Sterling Marlin, uh, Jeff Gordon, and uh, Bomani have here. Not what we need. Tires are worn. It's a 33 lap ra uh, race, so pit stops around like 16, 17. That's uh, when we'll be uh, down on pit road getting some good years. Again, uh, the only adjustments we can really do with this, guys, is I'm going to max, or not max, but I'm going to raise up the acceleration a lot on this thing. We might be redlining it, but oh well. We need, we need some horsepower. I have nothing to lose at this point. Because we're, we're losing time in the racetrack. If we keep running this way, guys, we're just going to keep falling back the entire day because we can barely maintain our spot, and which means we might be battling for ninth at the end of the day. So that's not going to cut it. First cats are on pit road, means meaning ah, we come down now. Yes, we're going to come down now. We're losing too much time. I'm coming down pit road. I don't care. I am coming down pit road. Coming down pit road. We're going to get this thing fixed. This thing is a piece. Definitely needs some help. Um, we're going to raise up tire pressure. I think that's how it works. I think. Or, I don't know. Maybe we went the wrong direction. I don't know. I think if going right uh, makes the acceleration higher, that lowers your top speed. I don't know, guys. We'll figure it out. Let me give me a swig of milk. 15.5, um, I don't know if we repaired damage or not, I hope we did, oh boy, I mean, we're just going to have to go out here and just, just run our race, man, there's nothing else we can do, when we go to Charlotte, it's just, we don't have that car, man, we just don't have that speed, we, we get off the truck good, but race trim, we just struggle, man, we just don't have that, I don't know, we don't have it the outside just in case this cat pits he's not pitting okay very retro looking car there that purple and uh, yellow rookie stripes should have enough speed to get around him 105 car rookie trying to cut his teeth in the Winston Cup series over teammate Matt Penzeth I believe he's won one race this year which was Phoenix Oh, 18th right now. Come on, man. I need the top 10. A long day. God, that was crazy there. I mean, just extremely crazy. Uh, Washington. Oh, my goodness. Whack loose, man. Whack loose. Car feels a little bit more racy, though. I will admit. It does feel a little bit more racy. I think that, uh, I think that pressure adjustment might have been in the right direction. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it was, because we're starting to red line a little bit better now, so. I think we didn't make the right adjustments. Michael Waltrip's going to take his nap of Monte Carlo down pit road. 13th at the moment. 12th, 11th, 10th. So here it is, guys. As I mentioned earlier, 
Uh, we, we probably will be battling for ninth or tenth at the end of the day, and sure enough, we are right on the cusp of a tenth place spot. And the wash up to kind of slow Tony down. Uh, hopefully, these cats will be yeah, okay. These are positions good, so that gives us three mulligans. So if these cats get around us, it's not too bad. Oh, big wobble by Ken's if good. I think it's kind of going all over the racetrack, slowed him up. He'll be back though, but all we can do is just slow Tony down. And uh, Kurt Busch, our teammate, he has had an engine failure here today in North Carolina. We're in the wall hard. Oh my goodness. So much for uh, repairing that car. Yep, and here comes company. We still got over 10 laps to go here. It's gonna be a long day, man. This is just one of those races where you just gotta just you just gotta pull them belts tight and just ride it out. It's all you can do. Um, yeah, it's just not going our way today, guys. I'm trying to block them as long as I can, and hopefully we can hang on to a top ten. I don't think we will though, because the field is uh, very dense behind us. There ain't no way we're catching that leader, Haas. I don't even think a caution will uh, let us catch up to him because we just don't have race trips. I mean, we're about we're getting ate up by Johnny Benson. Johnny Benson, man. I mean, he is just working his way around him. No, 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 no. Woo. Protecting that inside line at all costs. Dale Jr.'s got to run and go up there. I believe he won this race last year. Not having the exact speed he had last year, but uh, definitely trying to get a good finish for his Budweiser. I'm just trying to block, man. I am trying to block this car. It's just pretty loose. Like, it's whack tight. It's not wrecking, or not whack tight, but whack loose. It's not wrecking loose, but it's just snappy. Oh my gosh, there's Junior. No, 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 no. Dang, come it, man. That could have been a lot worse, man. I thought we were going to hit that wall and come down and create a big crash. Cannot have a DNF. I'm fighting hard, man. Fighting hard. Giving y'all a show out here today. Because we got a Talladega pack of cars behind us. As soon as I let one guy go, everybody's coming. They're all going to get around me and we're going to finish 17th. I have to protect it inside, man. I have to. I have to protect it inside. I have to wash up. Oh my god, man. Whew. Like, washing up on through. Uh, on turn four exit at Charlotte is such a difficult thing to do and there goes the tire wear and there goes the, the loose race car we got and there goes two cats around us uh, here comes Jerry oh sorry that worked <laughs> I was kind of trying to side draft them but uh scraped them up a little bit man we have no tires 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 we are getting eight up, and of course, Sterling Marlin's out front, so he's probably going to take the points lead. Oh my goodness. This is not fun, guys. This is not fun. Note to self, this is not fun. I just need this race to end right now. Like, right now. Okay, Robbie Gordon, I don't have time to do crap. I cannot lose more positions. I have to be aggressive now. I have to kind of turn it up a little bit and be the turd I don't want to be. I have to race aggressive. I have to. Because we're, we're losing too much spots. I mean, we're, about, we're, we're 11 positions behind uh, Sterling Marlin. And he's led the most laps today, so he's looking at getting a max point stake. So he could have 50 to 60 more points than us today. And if he does that, that means it's only a 20 point, you get 20 point gap, pretty much. So, what that tells me is that we are in a bind right now. I am all over the analog left and right, trying to just somehow starve off these people. Rusty Wall is heating me up. I mean, we got Ricky Craven as the cars are like, they're, they're packing up behind me. I can't get by. I'm trying my hardest to keep them back there, though. 
Have to block the inside. Just go up. Block the outside. The car is just very loose, man. It's like snap loose, wacky loose. My goodness, it's freaking Looney Tunes loose, man. This thing is just all over the joint, man. All over the joint. On lap 29 out of 33, this has been a very long race. Ooh, extremely close to Craven's front bumper there. That could have been a big wreck there. It's going down low. Got to slow it down, maintain the bottom line. Come up off the corner. Ease, ease. There we go. Ease. Here comes Ricky Rudd. I mean, it's literally like Talladega right now, man. Talladega at Charlotte Motor Speedway. That's exactly how this feels. And I just wish we could have a faster race car here. Because I legit don't know what we could do. No, no, no. God bless. This thing is extremely loose. I was trying to cut down over uh, Craven, or not Craven, but uh, Brunt's bumper. But then he was there, and it was like, I'm already there, so I'm just, I can't do nothing about it. Like that. He's already there. I can only make contact with him so much. And look how much position we just lost. Look at that. We are not flying, crew chief. We are losing. We are sucking eggs right now. Oh my lord. We just lost four positions in one corner. That's how bad we are. I just don't understand how the AI can be that good here. I don't care. I just used up Harvick, and I have absolutely no remorse about it. I'm here to try to get these positions back. I'm going to have one run at it, and that's pretty much it. And they're just going to drive away. Like they just have so much more speed than me, guys. I don't understand it. Without draft, we have nothing going for us. If I can't catch him, oh, sorry, Craven. If I can't catch him like that, then I can't get around him. I was actually trying to get underneath him, not punt him into the wall. That didn't work. Lap 33, the final lap here, white flag in the air. Not looking good. 14th spot right now. Go pipe, go pipe. Nope, bring the ball. There goes, there goes them. Yep. Just lost two spots there. This is a miserable finish. Sterling Marlin just won. And he's going to finish 15 positions ahead of us. And, I mean, this is pretty much worst case scenario for us. Uh, we should have finished much better than this. I don't know where we went wrong. But this is a, a extreme disappointment. Wow. So glad uh, we're out of Charlotte. Because that was, that was just terrible. Not a single caution lap was Running 20 race. laps no, almost on old tires at Charlotte Motor race. Speedway. No or not this old tires, but just a poor handling race car and then old tires. For today's NASCAR uh, that sucks. Next up is that sucks. Oh boy. I mean, let's go take a look at the damage. So, we're going to come home with only 115 points. Meanwhile... This guy is going to come on with 185 points, so you do the math, guys. It's a 10-point advantage, essentially. I mean, we are just... We just blown the entire points lead in one race, and I could not do anything about it. I couldn't, because the car had no speed, man. I, I mean, it just... It could have been much worse, but wow. I'm just, uh, just kind of shocked there. And why did we get 59,000... Uh, dollars in earnings when these guys only got that that don't make sense I have no clue why it's like that I guess it's because you're in the points or something it's weird like why did he only get 59 he got 61 I don't know maybe it's like some bonuses of how fast you ran and stuff I don't know guys what I do know is that this is the last uh, portion of this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new right here smash that subscribe button thank you so much for watching have a great one, and Diecast Buffet, signing off.